Mary Beth is a third grade science teacher at Aquino High School in Banged province in the region of Cordillera, a province eight hours by bus to the nearest city. Mary Beth has been teaching for only three years, but has never received mandated government training from the Department of Education. In many developing countries, lack of quality infrastructure and unfeasible travel make it difficult for governments to disseminate teacher training to remote or provincial areas. As a result, thousands of public school teachers are unable to receive adequate training and support. This problem causes teachers to be ineffective and uninformed, a situation which has been exacerbated due to the enactment of a new K-12 policy in the Philippines. There are a few possible ways to get this training to provincial teachers. Mary Beth does not own a computer or a laptop. She does not have access to the internet. However, like most teachers in the area, she owns a cell phone that she buys credit for to text or call relatives in other provinces. In fact, cell phone penetration in the Philippines is high, with 89% of Filipinos owning one or more cell phones, and major network providers have successfully set up satellite towers in many far-flung provinces. Thus, there is a potential solution to this problem. Our solution to this problem is to offer a suite of services for teachers to remotely access expert advice, training, and feedback. Acknowledging that many of these regions do not have access to the internet, we will offer these services for teachers through landlines and cell phones. This will be supplemented by a long-term mentorship program between teachers in the cities, who are able to receive the Department of Education's in-person training, and teachers in the province. Our calling platform will provide the direct link between these teachers. Teachers can select up to three of the following services offered to them. 1. Teaching Tips Teachers will receive a daily text message with a teaching tip or reminder. These texts will be engineered to fit the teacher's particular subject and grade level. 2. Veteran Mentor Teacher Hotline Teachers will have the opportunity to speak with a veteran teacher, screened for their expertise, that has been assigned to specifically mentor them. These mentor pairs will be assigned a weekly call time of one hour on either Monday, Wednesday, or Friday evenings from 5 to 8 p.m. to speak about the latest educational reforms, pedagogical techniques, and classroom dilemmas. To monitor these calls, we will provide mentor pairs with a special code through text that they can use to get free minutes on their cell phone providers' networks. 3. Monthly conference calls. Teachers will be able to call into a monthly conference call hosted by Philippine curriculum experts. This call will act as a stand-in for the in-person teacher training sessions that the Department of Education is unable to hold in certain provinces. Over the phone, teachers will receive this teacher training and will be able to ask questions. To supplement these conference calls, we will also attempt to send teachers guidebooks, lesson plans, modules, and other things that can be referred to while on the phone. Given this situation, our theory of change is that if teachers in rural areas receive training and ongoing support, they will be more empowered in classroom instruction and eventually be more effective at raising student outcomes. There are four primary actors involved in our project. First, rural teachers. Rural teachers provide a small fee for the services that we offer. In return, they get teacher training and ongoing support from veteran mentor teachers. Second, urban teachers. In exchange for weekly one-hour calls with rural teachers, urban teachers get free professional development workshops from our curriculum experts, as well as the opportunity to communicate and network with other urban teachers. To recruit these veteran mentor teachers, we will conduct in-person teacher training in the capital city of Manila. Third, curriculum experts. Curriculum experts hold our monthly conference calls as well as the professional development workshops we offer for our urban teachers. In return, they receive a salary from our organization. Fourth, technology team. The technology team will be responsible for creating the daily texts and creating the phone call infrastructure that we will use for our monthly conference calls. In return, they are paid by our organization. Our key partners in this initiative will include the main cell phone network providers, Smart Communications, Globe Telecom, and Sun Cellular, who we will negotiate with to subsidize the fees for the texting and hotline services. In exchange, they have thousands of texting tips per day sent over their network. Another key partner is the Department of Education, who must approve the over-the-phone training that teachers will receive 
as a stand-in for the in-person teacher trainings that they normally provide. We will pilot the program with 125 public school teachers in Manila and Banged Cordillera. The first batch will consist of 25 public school teachers from Manila who will be trained in person and will further act as mentors for 100 volunteer teachers from Banged Cordillera across multiple grade levels in different schools. With an average Philippine class size of 50 students, more than 6,000 students will be targeted in this pilot. The pilot program will last for six months, from June 2015 to December 2015, the first half of the Philippine school year. Our biggest expenses will go into paying for staff members, text message and conference call fees and training materials. Particularly, our two curriculum experts will have to be compensated well. Text message fees go as high as 1 peso per text or 2.5 cents per text, leading to 100 pesos over text spent per day through the pilot program. But our plan is to have these subsidized by the cell phone companies with whom we will work. Revenue will mostly come in from fees teachers would pay for using the daily texting tips and the mentor teacher hotline. Any profits from this will go directly into funding materials for professional development workshops. Besides this, the plan is also to conduct several rounds of fundraising.